emails made public as part of a lawsuit show that Kenneth Chesbro, the attorney who helped come up with the Trump campaign's fake electors plot, kept proposing ways to overturn the 2020 election, yes, even after the January 6th Capitol attack. CNN's Zach Cohen joins us with the details. Zach, so what was Kenneth Chesbro up to after, after January 6th? Yeah, John, we've known that Ken Chesbro is qualified as the architect of the fake electors plot in the lead up to January 6th, but we're now learning that he continued to beat that drum after the violence at the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. And I want to read this text message from him to that, that he sent to another uh, Trump lawyer from Wisconsin two days after the U.S. Capitol riot. He says, the events of the last two days open up legal options in the states for winning rulings favorable to Trump. He then goes on to say that maybe they can revisit some of the past petitions that they were trying to use to overturn the 2020 election in Trump's favor. He then pitches a, a variety of different ideas, um, ideas that would have gotten other people in, in legal hot water. And this runs counter to what he's told state prosecutors. He's interviewed in uh, almost a dozen states now about his role in the fake electors plot. And he essentially described himself as somebody just trying to give legal advice to Donald Trump and to the White House as they sought to legally challenge the outcome. We now know he was way more intimately involved and not not just in the lead up January 6th, but in the days afterwards. And so what else was revealed in these text messages and emails today about Chesbro's actions and whereabouts on January 6th? Yeah, John, I mean, of all the people that Jack Smith, the special counsel, has identified as Trump's co-conspirators in trying to overturn the 2020 election, Chesbro might be the only one who actually showed up to the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. These text messages uh, include selfies, where he took selfies with co uh, conspiracy theorist Alex Jones at the U.S. Capitol on the same day that the riot happened. And look, he even bragged at one point about being able to whiff 